Hey guys, ready for the next one? Here's another poem I wrote uh, back in 2010. So it's actually <laughs> kind of funny because it's in the title uh, 2 14 10. Uh, you know, a Valentine's Day in, during that year, and then it reads 2 plus 14 plus 10 equals 26, and then 2 to the power of 6 equals 24. I know you guys are wondering, what the fuck is this guy doing with numbers as a title for a poem? Well, the reason because I think it's kind of catchy and cool. Let me start. 24 hours in a day, taking two away from four. One wasn't good, but the other took the relationship way too seriously. Seriousness can be everything whether you are spiritual or religious. It's mentally healthy when you come into the real world, taking a break from all that stuck-up, insane, non-existent, forged documentaries that is heard repetitively over and over in churches, or spiritualist groups for that matter. Because that's not what life adheres to. It's about letting loose and enjoying every day that counts. We all know that in the dawn of mankind, they knew nothing of a god. So what is the point of living in something that does not exist? Where we, as a grand species, tend to realize that there is more to life than a prayer. We can all show that every year on the 14th of February that the definition of love comes from the emotional beats of our hearts. As feelings that grow for someone special that cares, and the moods are monopolized by the positive mineral deposits in our blood, our blood remains as pure. Pure in the state of that person's emotions, and state of being. When he or she is touched by the very fabric of Mother Nature's beauty, healthy young, beautiful, healthy young women or men, without the typical type of surgery done on their bodies, without a bad influence on specific types of drugs, like cigarette smoking. So as an example of someone doing for the better good, in the ethical power of their surroundings, nature in itself, and in the health of others. Stop smoking. It's bad for you. This year, Valentine's Day, not only has to do with being an end-spaced ethical person like I, but to do it for the one who loves you the most. Even though when they encourage you to break away from bad habits, it means they love you. They did. Support you and care about what you do to your body. Take this into account. I write this not only because it's a 40 second line. If you have accidentally read the numbers backward, you would have to go back to the 24th line. But if you look at the date, it will take you to a formula that would come to a 24 at the end. 2, 14, 10. 2 plus 14 plus 10 equals 26. 2 to the power of 6, 24. If you want to come down to a solid number, continue as followed. 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. 1 to the power of 6 is 6. And what matters most, I heard weeks ago, mathematics is a way to figure out what life can bring. I don't want to continue to carry on because we can't always expect the way we would like things to be. The following days ahead, looking at possibilities as a fraction or something that might happen to you the following day, then maybe, depending on what you do to yourself, that varies if it's a good habit or a bad one. Look at it this way. What are the chances of someone ending up in the hospital or dying of cigarette smoking on Valentine's Day? That'll be 6 out of 24, or 26 Americans. On Valentine's Day, we don't want that. Valentine's Day is a time for love, sex, unity, peace, good health, wisdom, holding, hugging, kissing, and companionship. Don't make it a fraction of possibilities or ending up as one in a fraction of possibilities. Oh, and be careful. Don't end up getting a, a, don't end up as a young one getting knocked up. And later on giving birth on Valentine's Day of next year. That'll be one out of every six Americans. <laughs>